Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to use LeanPeas. LeanPeas is a script that search for possible paths to escalate privileges on Linux. What does this mean? Well, it means that this script is scanning the machine you want to exploit and looks for any possible way that you could use to escalate your privileges. This means things like looking for a password for scripts, backup files, text files, and so on. Basically, anything that can be used to get a better access to that machine. And even root in the end. LeanPeas is very easy to install and use, so let me show you how to do it. There are two places from where you can get LeanPeas. First place is from GitHub. Right? Just Google LeanPeas GitHub and click on the first result. It should get you to this link. Right? Second place where you can find this, it's a website called leanpeace.sh. Here you will find the raw code of the entire script. I will show you how to install both. Let's go first on GitHub. As any other program from GitHub, you need to clone it on your local Kali distribution using the git clone command. The installation might take a while, so let's be patient. Once the clone has been completed, navigate to the newly created Peas ng folder. Here you will find LinPeas as well as WinPeas, which apparently is a similar script, but for Windows machines. In this video, we will focus on the Linux version. So let's go to LinPeas, then go to Builder, and here you can find the LinPeas base script. Now let me show you the other way to install LinPeas. For this, I will create a new file called linpeas.sh with gedit. Okay, now let's go to the linpeas.sh web page. Here, select the entire code with Ctrl A and then copy the text. You will get this message, just click OK, it's nothing to worry about. Then go to your gedit file and paste the code. Be patient as the script is pretty big and it will take a while until uh, the whole code is pasted in the newly created file. Okay, it seems to be all here. Now let's save it. As you can see, it takes a couple of seconds even to save it. This how big the script is actually. Now, to prove that the script is pretty much the same, let's compare the two scripts, LinPeas base and just LinPeas. Right, let me open LinPeas base with the gedit. And as you can see, if you check the first, I don't know, 10, 15 lines, you will notice that basically the code is the same in both files. Now let's go and see how we can use it to escalate privileges. For this, let me explain in a few words what setup I have in place. Here we are on the machine that we want to exploit. This is a prerequisite for using the LeanPeas script. You need to already have access on your target. So running who am I will show you that I have access, but I'm not root. LeanPeas should help me get it. In order to run the script on the machine, we need to upload it first here. I will do that in the temp folder. I will list it so you can see that there are no files in this location. So let's try to upload the script. To do this, go on your local machine and make sure you're in the folder where you have placed the scripts linpeas base and linpeas. You can use which one you want. I'll use the linpeas 
SH just because it's easier to type. Okay, in order to upload the file on the target, we need first to open an HTTP server on our local machine. For this, we can use the Python command, which is Python 3 minus M HTTP server followed by the port. Okay, now that we have a web server running there, let's switch to the target machine and run the wget command to upload the script from the local machine. Let me copy paste it. This is the command. And once we run it, we should get the file from the local machine. Done. This should be pretty fast. Okay. Once uh, we have the file, let's make sure we uh, make it execu executable. Sorry. So using the chmode command plus x from executable for linpeas sh, we should have the script executable. I'll run the script and place all the output in a file called output, right? <laughs> in this way, I can later on check again the results without running the script. Okay, and let's make sure it's in output. Now, depending on how big your target machine is, the execution of the script might take a few minutes. So, to save some time, I will fast forward the video right at the time when the script is finished. Nevertheless, before doing that, I have a big favor to ask you. Since creating these videos take a lot of time and effort, you would do me a great favor if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much for this. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, we are back. The script executed successfully. We have our output file here. So let's see now how we can push this file from the target machine to our local machine. Let's stop the HTTP server. And now we are going to use the netcat command to open a listener on our local machine. And the trick is to push all the traffic that comes through this listener into a file that I will call my output .txt. Okay, good. Let's go now back to the target. And again, using the netcat command, we will send the output file to the local machine. Let me find the command. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, paste. Please notice the arrow we use, right? It's facing the left side this time. Back to our machine, we need to wait for a few seconds just to make sure the transfer is completed. As you saw, uh, the script is pretty big. The result would also be pretty big, so it's better to wait for a few seconds before uh, stopping the listener. But I think that is enough. It's a text file in the end, so it should be okay. Okay, bingo, we have our my output .txt file. Let's cat this, cat this, sorry. And as you can see, the report is very, very long, right? I will not go on uh, through the entire file with you because depending on the target machine that you are using, the results will be different. Okay, nevertheless, I just want to make sure you pay attention to two remarks. Here, uh, when the script is starting, the report is starting, sorry, we have the, the nice logo from Linpeas, but we have also the legend. Please read it carefully as it indicates what exactly you need to pay attention to, right? We have the first line, the red and yellow, which is 95% chances of process of privilege escalation, and also the red lines, which are also very important because they can provide you a good path to escalate the privileges. Now, um, let's quickly try to find in this report some similar lines just to show you what to look for. Uh, I must admit I'd run this before. So here I found this script, which apparently can help me 
escalate my privileges. As you can see, it's red and yellow, but I also found uh, somewhere in here some passwords. As I said in the beginning, this script is looking for absolutely anything. Passwords, scripts, uh, backup files, text files, anything, anything that can help you escalate your privileges. This is why it's very important to read it very, very careful. Make sure you don't miss anything. Okay, where is that password? Where is that password? It was here somewhere. Oh, okay, let me see, let me see. Down, down, down. Not here for sure. Okay, if I'm not finding it. Uh, okay, here it is, here it is. As you can see, we found the password that might help us get some privilege escalation. Okay, this is it for, for today and for this video. Thank you for watching and um, see you next time. Bye.